morning tree lovers everywhere. Thanks for looking on the Eco Geco channel here on location in Courchevel in the French Alps. And today we're just looking briefly at the Norway spruce, otherwise known as the European spruce. We know it as the Christmas tree and the Latin name is Picea abies. So it's a spruce. Now spruces have needles rather than leaves and the needles are square in cross section so you can get them between your fingers and you can roll them. That probably tells you it's going to be a spruce. When you look at the needles they're each held on one by one onto a branch by a little wooden structure called a pulvinus or pulvini and the needles come off at 360 degrees all the way around a branch but the pulvini orientate them away from generally being on the underside so that they're more generally on the top sort of side of the branch. Now the other thing to really look out for um, is obviously the shape and up high you'll see the young branches that really hold the pyramidal shape of the tree that we love. Down low you'll see secondary branches which dangle down towards the earth and some people describe it as making the tree a little bit um, scruffy but I don't think so when it's all covered in snow. The real key thing to look for are the cones and the cones on all spruces are sort of brown and papery, not really woody but um, they dangle down from the branches and with the Norway spruce they're the longest spruce cones of all about the sort of length from your little finger to your thumb something like that well that's the Norway spruce it's the one that um, we have in Trafalgar Square at Christmas as a gift from the Norwegian government it's the ones that we traditionally have in our homes um, but they do lose their needles um, when they've been in after a long Christmas. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you're able to find and identify Picea abies, the Norway spruce. And don't forget to subscribe to the Eco Geco.